Hello everyone, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the images before me. As you can tell, they are beautiful and the funny thing is that actually none of them are handmade, they're all made from artificial intelligence. Today I'm going to talk about AI art, especially and specifically mid-journey and how to use it and get it set up. And this is made in July of 2022, so things might change in the future, so keep that in mind in case things don't work out exactly as you see. So first thing first is that I obviously want to show you how to use it. And it's incredible to look at these images and see that they're all done by imagination. They're done by actually using text prompts or descriptions being very descriptive in order to get and direct this AI to where you want it to go. And along the way, I want to talk about, you know, maybe how to use it best, etc. cetera. Um, so let's just get started. First thing first, this is going to be something that you would need Discord for. So for instance, if you don't have Discord, this is what it looks like. You can download it for Mac or PC. It's almost like um, old school chat rooms where you had different rooms where you can go into and talk to people. This is my good friend. Um, he has a, <laughs> a photography channel. And also on the left hand side here, you can see multiple. I'm going to call them channels. I'm not sure if the proper name is. I'm pretty new to Discord. So you're going to see mid journey here on Discord on the left. But that's not the first step. What you need to do in order to get into this mid journey room or channel is I'm going to go ahead and go to midjourney.com. Don't mind the rest of the string here. It's midjourney.com and I'll link in the description. And you just want to say join the beta. It might also launch directly in your web browser because Discord also works in your web browser. So firstly, you want to click on join the beta. So once it actually launches Discord, it will pretty much launch in your browser or you might even have um, the desktop app. And I personally like using a desktop app. It uh, it just feels like it's a separate component rather than using it on a website. So, But they basically do this relatively the same things. Um, so I'm just going to keep it to the desktop, the desktop version here in the website to keep it simple. What you want to do basically is on the left hand side here, you're going to try and find the mid journey icon. Once you launch from the site, it's this black and white icon. And then um, don't worry about everything else right now, but you actually want to scroll down here on the left hand side where it says it says uh, general image gen or uh, newbie rooms, newcomer rooms. Either one is fine. I'm just going to go ahead and pick one. It doesn't really matter. Maybe one that doesn't have as much traffic. They all are pretty busy usually. So keep that in mind. Um, the way it works is that you're going to be interacting with it through text prompts. You're going to be typing in words in this little chat area in order for you to generate images. Now, it's not super user friendly, so I, 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 it is what it is. Um, here is pretty much how you're going to work with it. Here it says at the bottom, message general nine. Um, I'm going to say backslash and imagine. And here I'm going to type in something like um, fruits in a bowl, uh, comma, cinematic lighting, comma, very realistic. So I'm giving it basically short phrases and descriptors in order to figure out what I want. It, there's a whole, um, I guess you could say science to writing text prompts. And if you hear them called prompts, that's what most people call them. And we're going to get into that later if you have any interest in learning more about that or check out my Instagram where I have a highlight reel regarding prompts. Um, I'm going to link that in the description as well in case you want to see how to uh, do that. And I'll make more videos if you're interested. So I'm going to say enter after I'm done writing something as a test. And what you will find is it will say uh, waiting to start and it goes in starts and we'll have a percentage. And as it's rendering, you'll see other people also start rendering below you. So the way to find your image or your generation is going to be highlighted in orange, which allows you to know where yours are in the sea of other images. So it's going to go ahead and start rendering. And once it's done, it's going to generate these four different versions of whatever that you've typed in. And the way this works is that once it's done generating, you'll be able to decide whether or not you would like one of these in a larger format, or if you would like to perhaps regenerate four images based off of the one that you like the most. 
um, or upscale it so it's done. And as you notice, once it's done, it disappears. You're like, where did it go? It doesn't uh, make it very obvious. So what happens is you have to scroll all the way down again and it uh, renders it. And the reason why it does that is because everything falls in chronological order based off when it is done, not started. So you can see here, mine's at 114. Someone else made one underneath mine and so forth. It's really, really busy. So I can actually click on this thumbnail and see a bigger version. You can see here that it actually did a pretty okay job. You know, it figured out what fruits look like and a, a variety of fruits in a bowl. And for some reason knew that humans like to eat a variety of different fruits in a bowl. So there you go. Um, and at different angles and different colors. So here is uh, the buttons that you're going to interact with and play and enhance mid journey through your experience. On the left hand side is quadrant one, two, three and four on the bottom right. If you'd like to use this and make it bigger, what you need to do is click on upscale four and it's going to run through that. It's going to turn blue. Don't worry if nothing's happening. It's because again, it's at the bottom. You can see it's uh, waiting to start here. And again, it's highlighted in orange. So it's going to do that. And you kind of have to figure out um, where things are when they're done, etc. Now, let's say that um, you want to make four new variations based off of one of them. Perhaps you like number four a lot and you'd like to see more variations based off of that. You would click V4. I'm not going to do that right now for the sake of time and keeping things organized, but that's how you do it. Now you might be asking, how, isn't there a easier way to kind of play with this and keep things organized? There is, I'm going to show you at the end. So please stay tuned. I'll show you a really nice workflow, but it does require a subscription. So I'm not going to talk about that just yet. Last but not least, we have a refresh button. So if you click on that, it's going to refresh your results. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go to our rendered version of the bowl that we liked. Very beautiful. And when you do render that again, it's going to make it a little bit more higher detailed. You can see it's taking a little bit of time. That's just because it has to use a GPU or a graphics processor unit somewhere out there. And it allows it to render the results that you're doing. So you're not um, <clears throat> doing everything automatically, or, or I should say it's, you're not doing everything instantly. It does take some time, so be patient. But once it's done rendering, what you can do from there is if you'd like to save it, you would just click on open original and then save it from here. This is not the final version, but it's close enough, but you get the idea. You can save it from here, save image as, and it is yours to play with. It doesn't really give you a huge version and that's just kind of the way it is, um, but you can upscale it in the future through other apps. Like there's a lot out there, so I don't have a preference. So I'm not going to mention any. And I think it's done. So you have to scroll again to the bottom when it's finished and you can see it's done. And if you from there would like to upscale it again, you can click on that and I'll render again um, or make variations. We'd start from the beginning uh, and makes variations based off of this one. Or you can click on light upscale redo. I don't really honestly know the difference. I think it will upscale it a little bit and redo it to finesse the details. That's my understanding. But ultimately, that's how you use mid journey. If you are in the trial version, you probably are only going to be able to use five images or make five images or so, depending on how long they give you. And um, again, if you're interested in being inspired by different prompts, please read what everyone else is making here. You can also go to the other rooms. If you do decide to subscribe, and I believe you can subscribe um, through the website. So I'm just going to say sign in here. And I'll say authorize. I'm going to try and get to my account. Here we go. So in, in your account on the website, it shows me everything that I've made here by clicking on home and everything that I've made here. And you can also go to manage subscription. And here you can decide what plan you want, which you can do $30 a month, which is almost unlimited usage. And uh, you can you know use this for commercial use but you also give them a license at the time of recording to use it for what they want. You can also use it commercially too. So it's kind of cool. You can use it for composites, et cetera, but I can make another video about usage and different ideas if you'd like. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And also you have a community feed so you can see the top ones people are making 
you can actually click on them and see the terms people used. You can also go ahead and say three dots here, copy command, not prompt, command. And I'll tell you why, because then you can go back to Discord. And uh, let me just go back. Uh, I think I opened my app, desktop app instead, same difference. I'm going to click on general, for example, and I'm going to enter that in. Uh, oops, I'm going to say imagine and then enter that. And it makes the actual uh, prompt that they used. And then I can hit enter if I want and or modify the text. I don't recommend um, just copying and stealing people's prompts. I recommend using this inspiration and then modifying those texts to get what you want in the same kind of style that they're going for and then building upon that. So you're creating something more original to you in your style. OK, please keep that in mind. That's just a personal preference of mine, just a general ethics kind of uh, point. Um, the thing that I want to mention quickly is that if you would like to keep things more organized, if you buy a subscription, one way to do it is go to your home tab, click on the mid journey bot. And then here you want to then start typing imagine and then whatever, because for some reason you can actually message a mid journey bot and create use prompts that way. But this is only available for subscribers. This will also ensure that people can't easily just copy your prompts or take your images. They can still see this if they um, follow you on the site. So if they follow your account, right? Um, and like, I have a personal feed. So I'm following my friend Jeff Lazell, who made these and I can see that he made these. So if you follow me, for example, Solstice Retouch, you can see uh, what I've made, what I've played around with, you really can't um, delete anything that you make. So please be careful. But in the actual feed itself on Discord, because you're sending it to the message, direct message, uh, everyone else in general just can't automatically see what you do in comparison to the rooms that we were in. So again, the difference is home is where you see your direct messages. And then the channels here are where you access these like rooms. Okay. Um, that's it for now. If you have any questions or would like to see more, hear more, uh, please leave a comment and uh, I'll be I'll do my best to help educate whenever I have the time. Can't wait to see what you create. And if you do create something, uh, please leave it in the comments as well. Maybe you have an Instagram account that you can share. Um, I would love to check it out. Maybe follow each other, be inspired, um, get and figure out, you know, what ways we can all use this and the discussion about whether this is good or bad for the industry is something that I left out of this video intentionally because I want to keep it educational, but that's other things that we can explore. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped and I can't wait to see what you do with it. Um, obviously things might change the future, but this is uh, good for at least a few days. <laughs>